it is summertime and there are two things I love doing most. It's postponing a podcast for six months on a kind of a mental breakdown and Yay. watching <laughs> our favorite thing and watching a movie about not socially distanced uh, sleepaway camps that feature the Jonas Brothers. Suck it, Lindsay Lillian. I also want to address Demi is they them. Yes. The character, however, she is her. She her. So, for the, make it a little confusing, but for this episode, when we say they them, we are Did talking she. about Demi. She her. We are talking about. I almost called Mitchy. I almost called Mitchy Sunny. Also Sunny. Also you know sunny. what? Let's talk about relationship mental breakdowns. Why yeah. don't we watch Sunny <laughs> with a chance and talk about that fucking freak show that is Sunny and Chad? Uh, I got in a fight mm-hmm. with a girl on TikTok because I was like, Sunny and Chad are so like abusive and awful. And they were like, how dare you? This is the best relationship on Disney Channel. And I was like, Chad spends the entire relationship completely full of himself and mm. putting all of his priorities above her. Literally, the last episode is him purposefully getting a recount so he can win and his girlfriend can lose. And you're telling me that's healthy? <laughs> uh, just also advice I wouldn't um, generally do. Don't, well, my advice, don't base your relationship uh, like, don't take advice from Disney Channel shows when it comes to relationships. I don't know one healthy relationship from a Disney Channel show. Oh, no. They don't exist. I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't exist for, like... Disney c- encourages unhealthy relationships. Like, if we watch Camp Rock 2 and really get into Mitchie and whatever his name is... Joe Jonas. The- Joe Jonas. It's Joe Jonas. <laughs> so unhealthy. Mitchie and Joe Jonas. Same goes for High School what Musical is his too. Name, though? It was mm. like, it was like his Grace name is Shane. Steel or like his name is Shane. Shane, that's his name. Shane Gray. I'm just gonna call him Joe Jonas. <laughs> I'm gonna call. Doesn't that make it more confusing? I'm gonna call Mitchie the other bonus Jonas. For those who have never seen Camp Rock, how dare you? How dare you leave dare such you? such terrible lives? <laughs> Or like really, after High School Musical, where else did you where see did you this go? going? What did you do after High School Musical? What did you do with your life? Get it together? Excuse you. How can you <laughs> not enjoy a bunch of kids at sleepaway camp making weird noises? One of whom is a drummer and has no drum set. He just at drums all. on things. The entire movie he does not have a drum set at all i was thinking oh they're finally going to give him a drum set at the very end no no he just drums the floor for like they just hop around (laughs) that poor kid anyway it is a 2008 american musical television film uh starring demi lovato joe jonas megan martin maria canals vera i don't think i said that right daniel fathers and then the other Jonas Brothers. And Allison Stoner, one of our favorites. We love Allison. Allison is currently doing a huge thing on talking about child actor abuse. Yes. Which is so important. So anybody, keep up on what Allison Stoner is doing. Because she's making miles and trying to get abuse oh, and away also, from child stars. And also, um, shit, I forgot her name. Sam from iCarly. Oh, um, Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette McCurdy, yes. If you watch the iCarly reboot, watch it while understanding that Dan Schneider is a fucking awful person and why Jeanette is not going back to the revival. Yeah. We respect her and her wishes. I'm probably still going to watch the revival, though. I watched a a 20-minute interview this morning. Oh, damn. It's so good. It actually looks good. It does, but Freddie... It, I don't want to Freddy say Freddy freaks divorces. me out. Freddy has two divorces canonically now. Like, Freddy... And, a, and, like, and like, a daughter. That's not his. Like, the reason why Freddy freaks me out is that he's the most adult-looking out of all of them, including Spencer, by the way. Like, his hair is starting to recede. He, like, talks like, like Mr. Rogers now. But then I, rem- I remember he's only, like, four years older than us. 
And I don't like that. Oh my gosh, I'm not I ready don't. for that existential crisis. Anyways, Camp Rock. Camp Rock. <laughs> so, Mitchie Torres, who is uh, played by Demi Lovato, young musician who wants to be a singer. I, re- I remember, like, it starts off with, like, that uh, quintessential Disney Channel movie opening, opening where it's like, we're just going to montage through her day. And the way she writes songs is a little bit... Um, she doesn't actually play the guitar. She just pretends to play the guitar. She also pretends what? to play the piano. Yeah. And then she just does a bunch of, as a young teen does, mm. you just kind of jam out loud volume in your room at, what, six in the morning? Yeah. And try on different clothes and hairstyles that look awful for no reason. And then you go about your day to a great breakfast that you ignore. It always starts off, I wake up, take my shower... I, I get dressed, I go about my day, I go see that my mother, the professional cook, has made this, like, four-course breakfast meal, and I go, fuck you, mom. I, I'm not having any of this. I'm having a bite of toast, goodbye. And you know why? <laughs> because you didn't like that I put a Camp Rock pamphlet in the toaster. Mm-hmm. Which is now I on fire. I love to put paper in places that paper can easily burn. Because if you don't let me go to Camp Rock, I'll burn the house down. <laughs> it's not arson if it's a hint. <laughs> Where did she get all these pamphlets, though? Like, that's what I, I'm wondering. Yeah, because, like, when she goes to school, she had a trash can. Like, a trash she can she pulled out next can. to her. It was just... <sighs> just sighing just and, like, throwing, throwing pamphlets. Pamphlet. After a Camp Rock pamphlet, it's like, how many of these, did you, like, did you have to bulk order pamphlets? Where are all these pamphlets? No one can get that many in the mail. Did you steal them from the guidance counselor? I think her plan was, like, maybe if no one goes to, like, no one can go to Camp Rock. <laughs> if I can't, can't go, go to Rock. Camp Rock, no one can. And then I also love when we were watching this, I think she was, like, the end row of, like, the lockers. She didn't mm-hmm. even bother putting the trash can there on that side. She put it right in front of someone else's locker. Anybody that goes to, like, American high school knows that there are not metal trash cans yeah. in the school. It was a metal trash can with a top. When I've never, ever seen that. It is always the plastic yeah. trash cans. And she has fucking Oscar the Grouch is going to pop right out with the... With the pamphlets. And then she has her friend that we never see again, who is yeah, like, oh, like, you can't go to Camp Rock. You can't live your dream. You can't go to the camp where everybody is successful. I should really stop talking. <laughs> and then it, this was like also the most un, like, anticlimactic like, way to be like her. Like she goes home and her mom's like, oh, by the way. Remember how I said we can't afford to set? Just kidding. We're going there. Because I got a job. I work in the kitchen. We're going. And you have to work in the kitchen with me. But you can go to Camp Rock. And I love them so much. But that is the most awkward, anticlimactic way of her being, like, depressed. Being like, yeah, I'm home. Whatever. I don't want burgers. Okay, let's tell her. You get to go to Camp Rock. Ah. <laughs> like just and then all of a sudden then... we're at Camp Rock. There was like no like packing or like this or like anything. It was just like you could go to Camp Rock. Boom, Camp Rock. And then everyone there, it's like I think I know like film production wise what they told all the extras to do. Where it's like, hey, you guys, you guys are into music. You guys are performers. Be performers. So literally everyone just looks like um, you know when you go to like another like a public lot in the sims and they're all dancing Mm -hmm. but they're all dancing like weirdly (laughs) that's how everyone fucking looks like every single person is doing something completely different but just as distracting and then we meet the kid who who drums on shit and luggage but there's a camp rock bus yeah. Does the bus pick up people from a certain place? Like, can anyone go here? Does the bus travel everywhere? And then there's just... I just love the fact that Tess sat in her limo yes. for got to be a weird amount of time to just sit in a limo to go to camp, sleepaway camp, because the dude taps on the limo 
And yeah. then she gets out, She's which like, means oh. she just sat to sit in a limo. Why would you just sit in a limo? Like, they, she had to sit in there that long for Mitchie to be like, oh, wow, there's a limo here. Two words, air conditioning. Why else do you think her hair was blowing? No one's going to their cabins. Like, when I went to camp, it was like, hey, bye, mom, here's a cabin. See ya. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I, I remember having to go to sleepaway camp. I did it one time. It was like a French immersion camp in Minnesota. That sounds like the nerdiest thing ever. And I went to orchestra camp. They, like, we weren't allowed to speak English. <laughs> they made you just speak French. At orchestra camp, half the day, we were in this atrium playing music. See, I feel like yours was more fun. I also went to church camp. That was not fun. That I don't think... <laughs> I have seen that documentary. I went, to, I went to church camp for three years. Ooh. And the worst memory I have was the last year they sat us all down. And we were like 11 or 12. And they were like, who here's kissed a boy? And some girls raised their hands. I didn't because I'm ugly as fuck. And then the parents or like adults proceeded to like yell at these girls in front of all of us that they're going to hell and how dare they and they have to preserve their bodies so basically this was like a biblical stoning but verbally it was like it was so humiliating for the minors for the children and we're all just sitting there and i'm like i'm never gonna kiss a boy (sighs) going back to camp rock back to camp Like, also, <laughs> I want to also point out, like, the last episode we did was, like, December of 2019. It was six months ago, but it feels like it was, like, four years 2019? ago. 2019? You mean 2020? 2020, holy shit. <laughs> I've already written off 2020. I'm like, never happened. Let's go with another <laughs> shitty year of my life. 2019. That one is... We also postponed <laughs> this. Like, we watched the we movie to... a week ago. We did. We also have watched High School Musical. All three never did anything. And never did anything. Never did anything. <laughs> we made some TikToks if you want to watch we them. We did. One of them is highly controversial, apparently, <laughs> according to my comment section. Mm-mm. Was it the one where it was... Um, trash. Because the, the makeup designers talked, didn't know how to do... Yeah, because like, the makeup designers didn't know how to do black women's hair... And so I made a TikTok about the recent interview that Monique did about it. And everyone was like, why do you even care? And I was like, because there was a recent interview about it and it's important. And if you're going to hire black people to work on your, to be actors in your show, you should hire people that know how to do their hair. Mm -hmm. I also feel like that should be a skill. Obvious. People should Should be a Worldwide skill for makeup and hairstylists, but... Oh, yeah. Anyways. So, going back to (laughs) the limo. (laughs) We're going to be going in and out of trauma because it's been a year. It's been 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 half a year since we recorded. Very different time. I think our plan before was to... We were going to watch National Treasure, and then the insurrection happened. We were like, no. I was in the airport during the insurrection. I remember... I, like, I would have lost my mind if I was, like, flying and I'm like, I don't know what America I'm touching. Can I just stay in the air? Can I stay in I the air forever? I did not enjoy being in Georgia. Our, mm-hmm. well, dude, I don't think Camp Rock's the movie to start on because we keep going we off topic. We keep going topic. off topic. Okay. <laughs> Camp, going back to Camp Rock. I'll edit it so it makes sense at some point. Meanwhile, okay, we're... Once they arrive to camp, I think that's when we meet Joe Jonas' character, who I'm going to call Joe Jonas for the Shane entirety. Shane Gray. Joe Jonas. Shane Gray. <laughs> like, is a bad boy. He's bad to the b- 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 bone. So he has to get sent to sleepaway camp. Also, I love that they're, ex- like, they don't even really explain, like, why they're just like he's been late to rehearsals and i'm like that's it that's it like i remember watching this when i was like i think this came out when we were like 10 or at least yeah. 11 like 10 and at this point i'd already been introduced to like 
Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue. And I'm just like, he didn't go to rehearsal? Oh, no. Bad boy over here didn't shoot heroin. He was partying too much. He was partying too hardying. So him and I don't remember what their names were supposed to be. So we're just going to say Nick and the great, awesome, amazing person. Nick and Kevin. Kevin. (laughs) Um, Kevin tells him that he has to go to sleepaway camp. But while at the camp, he has to make a birdhouse. Yeah. And this is one of the weirdest things that is recurrent through the entire movie. His it's birdhouse. just Kevin being like, is my birdhouse done yet? Oh, and can you make me a birdhouse or something? Hello? Hey, buddy, how's my birdhouse coming? I didn't want anything. Well, I wanted a birdhouse. And so what do you need a birdhouse for? We are talking about finishing my birdhouse, right? Where's my birdhouse? <laughs> like, I'd love if, like, by, by Camp Rock 2, I've never seen Camp Rock 2, but by the <laughs> end, it's like, he's, like, becoming a serial killer about this fucking birdhouse. Like, Joe Jonas is just going to wake up in a house, and it's going to be like Saw, but Kevin's going to come up on the intercom and be like, where's my birdhouse? Where's my birdhouse, Shane? So because he's been a bad boy, Joe Jonas, um, I'm refusing to call him by his character name. Shane Gray. Joe Jonas has to go, uh, (laughs) he has to go be basically like a counselor, or like a camp counselor. For, yeah, yeah, he for dance to... classes, not even singing. Nope. Gotta teach dance. You gotta teach and dance. And the coolest guy at this camp. The Australian guy. Who is a straight G the entire movie. Is like, sucks to suck. You gotta teach people. Yep. <laughs> I know you hate me and hate your life, but go teach a bunch of kids your age how to dance. And then I think um, they have like this whole entire like, prize thing which i thought was really weird for the very uh last day of camp where it's like also the winner of this talent show gets to record a single it's the no what with it's the whoa oh no what the (laughs) oh no final champ (laughs) the final it's the final champ because you see you have the beginning of camp jam the we're on a lake jam the night jam the campfire jam the i have to go to the bathroom jam like (laughs) the kitchen jam they're at the b- the beginning of jam- Jammy Jams, and oh. Mitchy meets Allison Stoner's character. Check me out. Cool. <laughs> who is like... Wait, oh, we forgot she was playing... I don't know how she found this piano, but like when uh, Joe Jonas was like... He like hears her singing, Little Mermaid style. Oh, yeah. And after his spiel... He goes on a sad boy walk. <laughs> he does. And Mitchie is done cleaning with her mom and making food. So she goes to the random piano in the kitchen and just starts to sing about how she wants to shine. And why is there a piano in the kitchen? He has to hide away from the girls. So he runs to a bush and hears her singing her sad song mm-hmm. while he's in sad boy times. So obviously and then, boys got to relate. Obviously. So he runs into it, finds absolutely no one, because after I sing sad boy songs, I just run away. Mm -hmm. And instead of asking kitchen staff or finding, trying to find anybody in the general area, he decides to turn this into Cinderella and find the voice to match the song. But then opening jam happens, right? Yes, the opening jammy jam. Yeah, and then she finds out about... Um, that's when she starts lying. Uh, not Tess. Uh, Mitchie. That's yes, when Mitchie starts cause her Mitchie pathological meets, lying journey. Because she meets Tess, and she learns that Tess runs the camp because their parents are big in because of nepotism. Yeah. So then she's like, oh, geez, I want to join in on this nepotism. So let me lie about my mom who spent so much time and effort and money to get me here and say that she works for Hot Tunes TV China. And then I also kind of love how chill about it um, Allison Stoner's character was, too, where she's just like, I'm not going to stop you, but uh, you're fucking your life up. Bye bye. The like, entire just... 
Like, over half the film, she's just like, you know, she's a terrible person, she's a bitch, that's your choice. And then, like, at the end, when she doesn't defend her in a clearly awkward situation for all three of them, that's when she's like, ha, you're, you're the daughter's cook, you fucking suck, you're terrible. And it's like, that's so much aggression. But it's like a lot After of- After being chill the whole movie. <laughs> like, you suddenly decided, just like, it just took just that- explodes like you didn't defend when i threw spaghetti so i'm gonna laugh at you oh my God. they asked mitchy what her talent is and she is like oh it's singing but i'm not gonna sing for you and the funniest part about that is she's singing her song about the light and i just love that she stops from saying shine on me it's like oh no don't want to sound selfish about the song i wrote <laughs> And it's like, Tess, like, there was way too much anger with shine on me. Like, what the fuck is she supposed to say? I hope the light shines on Tess Tyler. (laughs) Gonna let the light shine on Tess Tyler. It's just, it's stupid. I I was gonna say Shine on anyone else but me. me. (laughs) I need to stay humble while I am singing a ballad about myself. Shine on me, us. Us. Shine on everybody, everyone here. Everyone. But not me. Was that the, um, you sent me a TikTok. Was that the part where, like, she, when she's singing her, int- you see all 32 of her teeth. That is, like, it's so really then wild. they do that, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so great. And then they go to their singing, I guess, school. The class, class or whatever. whatever. Yeah. And there he's like, okay, who wants to sing first? And everyone raises their hands except for Mitchie, which anybody that knows any if teacher ever. ever been in school. That is <laughs> If you don't raise your hand, and everyone else does, they are going to pick you. That's why you gotta throw them off their game. Even, like, there's sometimes where, like, I won't know the answer, but I know if I raise my hand, it's like I'm, like, playing Russian roulette. But I know there's there's also a chance I'm not gonna get called. You gotta play reverse psychology with them. Gotta play it. Gotta play it. But that's where my favorite joke in this whole movie comes in. It's up to me. All right. I know you're singing a solo, but it's so low... I can't hear you. I can't hear you so low because you're so low. Singing low. <laughs> to which I try to do she it. goes the completely other end and opens her jaw like a shark. Just unhinges. The never ending possibilities that I can see. If you watch it, her mouth wow. is so it's so open, which like honestly is a tech is like a major technique for singing well. But I think it's just so closed in on her face that, oh, you that just... it's her mouth oh. is so wide, and we all know the iconic Demi smile of like smiling as wide as you possibly can. That was the first class because then Tess was like, "Oh, I don't like that everyone thinks she's a good singer," because. We're at this camp of talented people, so I must undermine the talent of every person here. I also love when they finally do have a class with um, Joe Jonas, they all just know the choreography beforehand. Yeah. Like, was there, did they have to study? Did, was There's there no, a, like, one, before? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They just, he's just grumpy sad boy and is like, pick up a hat and a mic. And then they everyone. They don't use any of their mics, by the way. <laughs> Everyone knows the entire choreography. At one point, he just stands there and watches them all do the same choreography that wasn't taught to them. In unison. But, like, no one's just like, what the fuck is happening? You guys are going too fast. No, no, they're just all perfectly... But And then all of a sudden, they crash into each other at the end. Which no was, reason. like, so badly choreographed, because you can clearly tell that he, like, fell on purpose. Like, he didn't get tripped or anything. And then Tess is like, mm, can't, what, what the fuck did um, she say? I don't remember, but I, I'll, my, She's I like, remember talk the drummer about, Talk fell. about, talk about drumming on a different beat. Yeah. <laughs> can't march to your own drum. With girl. And then on. Shane Gray is like, oh, you play the drums? And then he taps on the floor. Why, that's my favorite part. Like, the drummer can't talk. <laughs> like, it's, it's just like a mute he drummer. Never he never talks. Guys, 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 he's trying to communicate with us. 
He talks through <laughs> he talks, Morse code. He talks see. through Morse code. I also love how into it. He's like, you're a drummer. Like, like he's discovering a new species. We're going to get you a drum, dude. We're going to get you that drum. We're going to get you that drum kit. They never you can stop do. stop playing on the floor. Also, somewhere in between this is the dinner jam. Or the... Of many. The many jams. Some, some sort of dinner jam. Where one girl that, again, we never see again uh, until the end of the movie, sings one of my favorite songs as a kid. And then you never see her again. It was like and my the, um, favorite thing is they're all supposed to be like, what, 14, 15, 16, there. something around there. And this girl's like, you have to do this, 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 and that to get me. And I'm like, no guy in high school would do any of these things. No. They would see that as, like, the, like the laundry list. They're, no. Like, in today's generation, it'd be like, oh, can you not assault me? Can you <laughs> text me good morning? Can you uh, exist? Thank you. <laughs> Must do that to get me. <laughs> okay. At this point, how, how does Joe Jonas meet Demi? Or, like, how does Joe Jonas so- meet... Oh Mitchie. no, so that he meets Mitchie because Mitchie is late. She's consistently late to helping her mom the entire movie, which is so mind boggling to me. But she lies to, she wakes up early and she's consistently, the whole movie, they're like, Where do you go? You're never around. And she's like, Ah, I'm everywhere. Bye. <laughs> But so she goes, and her mom was making cupcakes, and yeah. everyone finished the cupcakes already because she was late because she's terrible at her job. And then he comes in to complain about being v- vegan, Famous. vegetarian. Or- he said his allergy list. Sorry, he said his allergies oh, are do right. not eat list. Oh my god! I and he couldn't where- eat anything at breakfast. Also, but like, why was her plan when he came in, she, like? Her mindset was, oh my god, he's going to recognize me by my voice. Put flour on my face. There's so many ways to explain why you would be in a kitchen. What? And instead, she's like, let me throw flour on right my, face. my face. And he's like, oh, you must be good at your job. It's like, there is flour nowhere else than her face. Who is this it is so person? clear. <laughs> she seems so interesting. So, And then... He's, like, screaming at her, like, you didn't follow my list. I want to speak to your manager. And she's like, how dare you say mean things? You shouldn't say mean things. And he's like, oh, dip. You're right. I'm just, my, she's not like I'm other girls. sorry. And it's like, no, no. I refuse to believe that a bad boy celebrity would walk away from an argument because she's like, hey, you're being mean to me. No bad boy is going to be like, huh, Um, I'm going to evaluate my life choices. Thank you. I'm going to do it by going to my sad boy place. I'll ask my assistant to send it to you again. My apologies. So sorry, madam. Like, Like, and then at one point, I think, like, does he start, like, making a song and then he shares it with her? Yeah, so he starts making a song and she's like, oh, that doesn't sound like your, what was Connect 3 stuff? And he's like, what? It doesn't sound like my stupid puppy shit, you fucking bitch! (laughs) Oh, I think I remember you telling me this where, like, the Jonas Brothers hated doing this movie because... Oh my gosh, like, they, Dis- they just did not like being told what to sing about they by Disney. They didn't like so doing like- that, and they hated doing Jonas because they wanted to be this cool, spunky, like they wanted to be like Bowling punk for Soup. rock band. They wanted to be a punk rock band. They wanted to be like Bowling for Soup, and then Disney was like, "Here's a movie and a TV show that turns you into Tweeny Bob," and they're just like, "I want to be Bowling for Soup," and Disney's just like, "Bowling for Soup is like they're in their thirties." They get to say fuck. You guys. But like, if they no. never went on Disney, they would have been. They would have continued to be this like emo. Because that's what they wanted to be. They wanted to be an emo punk rock band. So I think all the sad boy, all the sad boy out. This is why I refuse to call him Shane. This you're seeing the real Joe Jonas right here when he's like, "Don't tell me what to do." 
what you don't like, like my label. stupid, stupid puppy <laughs> shit, my stupid label makes me do. You sounded like Zoolander for a second. A center for ants. What? I thought it was good. You're going through some You're sort You're going of breakdown. through some shit right now. <laughs> that is none of my business. And then, and then they go they're roboting. Just like, they're just like, I couldn't do it. They have, <laughs> they have this they're like right. deep talk of like oh your song's not awful oh really you just hit my soul in a completely new way that no one ever has before do you want to go canoeing because it's every bad like every bad boy you guys know if you meet a girl you gotta go take her canoeing bad boys love canoeing no into window there we're both watching this and we're like like, any person their age and a bad boy would have sex in the canoe they had life life preservers preservers. because Obviously, safety first. And they're not even in the lake. Like, they're no. so close to the edge. You and could go Tess like that Tyler and Tyler comes something. over and is like, oh, dare they. They're going canoeing. That is, they're basically fucking. But then I think that's when he starts getting, like, obsessed with, like, finding the girl who was singing. Yeah, because he, in the canoe, he's like, I love that you also understand. This girl's so bad at lying, too. Every single time, she does it so quickly, so effortlessly. Oh. But then anytime someone brings up China or this lie she created, she's like, huh? Why are you talking about, oh, right, my mom my that lives life. in China? Because he's like, oh, you must relate so much to my life. And she's like, what the fuck? Why? Mm-hmm. He's like, because you... you Ne- nepotism. Oh, yeah, right. I totally relate, Shane. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, because I know that was probably around the time when, like, uh, Allison yeah, cause Stoner's character. Yeah, because we skipped over the amount of times that she sang backup yeah. for Tess. Oh, that's right. And how wonderful that was. Every single time, Allison Stoner was like, oh, do you like singing backup? And it's just them in matching outfits. The horrible horrendous. matching outfits. But it brings the the second one where they're all dressed in these horrendous green track suits. Oh. As the iconic TikTok sound where Allison Stoner pretends to, I'm going to assume pretends to play the piano and is going like do, 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 do. And then De- <laughs> Mitchie goes, oh, she's really good. <laughs> Which spires anger from Tess to pretend that a cord is a snake. Because anybody in this camp for talented people who do music things is terrible. (laughs) (laughs) So then... Uh, that's like that's like going into a yogurt shop and being like, how dare there be yogurt here? How dare you guys? Get it? Like... And then how do how does she make up with Allison Stoner? Because I know they Al- never fucking do. So Allison gets in trouble for the spaghetti throwing thing, and then her punishment is working in the kitchen. Where kitchen? So the she's carrying in that huge thing of chips. The chips go everywhere, and Allison's like, ha ha ha, you're a you're a daughter's cook. You made up this whole stupid lie for nothing. I can't wait to tell everybody that you are a lying faker. And she's like, fine, tell everybody. I don't care. me." And it's like, they somehow become... It's never established. Like, she stands up for her one time. And that's in it. The, it's, After. In, it's when they're wearing the green tracksuits. When they're wearing the green tracksuits is when... The whatever major loser shit. Oh. And then Demi is like, oh, that coordinated, you can't like, even. It wasn't even like WTF. It was like, it was but like, like they just were like throwing three loser. like gang signs. And what Demi is- says like one small thing against Des and everyone's like, oh my God. And then they're friends. That's it. After like half of this movie, not standing up for anyone that she has been hanging out with. She says one thing and it's like, okay, now we're friends. So then we get the best song in this whole movie because it's the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. Best song in either movie is just the Jonas, Jonas Brothers, Brothers being the Jonas Brothers. Singing at the Beside the Lake Jam. Let's go with that. 
And then we get the, what's it like being in Hot Tunes TV China, Mitchie? Tell us more about it, Mitchie. My mom doesn't actually work for Hot Tunes TV China. Then what does she do? She's a cook. Say and it the, out the loud. The stupidity of Taz going, a cook? It, What's that? <laughs> you mean the butler that lives in your kitchen? I never knew that Mitchie's mom was behind Tess for this entire interaction. And, like, my mom would 100% pull me out of the camp. Mm -hmm. Send me home. I would no longer be allowed at this camp. I would get the worst talking to for, like, three hours, if that. And I would feel like crap. To have your mom behind this girl, so yeah, to, like making you admit your lies, and you admit in front of your mother that you were so ashamed of what she does for a living that you made up a lie and kept with the lie, because and lie to everybody because that's better than admitting that you're a cook, that your mom has a successful catering business. Mm-hmm. And the way her mom walks away, and it's never addressed. My mom would kill me if oh, yeah. this all came out with her. My mom got mad at me because I ignored her at a soccer game once, let alone the lie about her entire profession that she spent money and time to get me into this camp for. Tess wins the fight, and then she turns around and goes, Shit! And Joe Jonas is just like, I don't even know you. I gave Who you are so you? much. Go to this teeny bop magazines and tell them about me. No, Shane, it's not like that. I just lied. Like a lot. I just <laughs> like lied a concerning to everybody amount. this whole summer. But I promise I would never. And the best part is she's so bad that while they're in that fucking canoe, I remember her being like, that's good, and I don't lie. But let's <laughs> talk that. about my mom in Hot Tunes TV China, which is such a fucking lie. <laughs> it's literally like this. Uh, I don't lie. I'm going to lie right now, but just this one time. But other than that, no lying. No lying happening lie. here. I've just lied about my parents' entire profession my and my entire, entire life. life this whole time. But how dare you get mad at me? (laughs) And then, how does she and um, Allison Stoner get uh, uh, banned from the final jam? Oh, what is it? The uh, Mitchie and Allison Stoner are practicing for the final jam. Because it's at that (laughs) montage of everyone practicing for the final jam. (laughs) The drummer boy's just like, I gotta practice on all these, all these luggages and They're doing like, okay. Yeah. Or I guess, well. So then, Tess violates so many rules and goes into Mitchie and her mom's cabin and looks around for Mitchie's songbook. Which is like trespassing and like breaking and entering. But whatever. And she reads the line that says, I want to let the light shine on me. So obviously catastrophic. This girl clearly wants to ruin my life. So, and because she reads it, she reads it, it like, she goes, I'm going to let the light shine on me. You're like, okay, sociopath. No one's going to let the light shine on you, Mitchie. She's staring at her bracelet. bracelet. This, is, this is her charm bracelet <laughs> on my fake wrist. Yeah. <laughs> so then I want to know how she got into the kitchen and put it in between books. Like, why? If you stole a huge, like, expensive bracelet, why would you, one, bring it to a kitchen? Two, hide it in, clearly? like, the least between cooking books like and i love how he's like i just have to do a snoop a rooney <laughs> of the area and That's it's the... like wouldn't you snoop their cabin or their stuff why would it be put between two cookbooks and it's like it's supposed to be like oh you caught me i thought that was a great hiding place <laughs> <laughs> and all three of them 
them are like, we didn't do this. Why would this happen? And Tess is like, is no, see, they did it. And she's about to out herself. Anybody that says, what, what? You're saying that I came in here at midnight and I looked through books and I put it there. And he stops her from like basically outing herself. <laughs> but I love when they do that of like, what? You're saying that I would go through these specific steps and like, then frame you. So then he keeps going to the end of final jam. Till the end of final jam, you may not perform. Until the end. Nothing to take away there. No, <laughs> no tricks or riddles. Are you getting my <laughs> hints? Is it coming through to you? You have the until. And the last moment the last possible of the until jam then. you can't until then do whatever it is <laughs> and at the end he's like i'm so glad you got what i was saying you got it like it feels like in the good place where they're like we got the hints you left us oh really i left like six thousand hints <laughs> but i'm so happy you got one of them yeah <laughs> And then, so, I think uh, Final Jam, like, actually uh, starts. And the judges are the Jonas Brothers. The whole camp, because I'm assuming this is a large camp. Yeah. Is supposed to be included in this Final Jam. And there are, like, three three. performances. (laughs) And two of them are solos. Oh, unannounced (laughs) solos, by the way, too. (laughs) Like, Like, Tess and her group break up. And one of them's like, I'm going to join this other group. Also, I know all the choreography and exactly what they're doing. It's fine. You agree about this I know exactly what to say. No worries here. We're just going to assume, I guess, that Asta La Vista includes every single person on this camp besides Peggy and Tess. Because, oh yeah, and then Tess's song, which she does by herself now. No backup dancers, nothing. No. And it's the song we've been hearing. there were backup Oh, there were backup, like, dancers, but not backup singers. But not backup. And then she had this whole thing, and her mom comes, and it's... Honestly, I feel bad for her. Like, I do and I don't at the same time. I get that, like, you're a bitch because your mom doesn't give you attention. Mm, But I don't have to excuse it. But so she basically ruins everything for herself. Because her mom goes to take a call while still watching. Which, like, in terms of unattentive parenthood, at least she was still staring at... And also, like, you can see, like, she's, like, uh, apologetic about it. So then Tess has a mental spiral. Oh, yeah. And, like, screams, look at me. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. In front of everybody. everybody. Which... Final Jam, they made it up to be this, like, huge, like, like almost as if it's televised, like, thing. My hair made it look like there was someone behind me. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, uh, okay, it's just me. And you look, and it's just, like, the rest of the camp yep. sitting in a cabin. And it's, like, family and friends. It's, like... Because they were yeah. like, oh, Mitchie, you're so brave to do a solo in front of all those people. It's, it's like, like a if dozen she's saying at church, it's the same amount of people, if anything, less people. Mm-hmm. Because apparently, everyone at this camp learned hasta la vista. <laughs> like, everybody. And then... Everyone else. Also, for, um, for Tessa's song, like, she... Like, they keep, like, we don't, I don't think we ever hear the entirety of the song until this moment. Yeah. But we always hear, like, parts of it. And it it isn't until, like, she's, like, in front of her mom. You're like, oh, this song is about how her mom's never fucking there. (laughs) Yeah. Like, imagine being the mom and listening to your daughter sing a song about you're never fucking there. And then that's so true, because she says, look at. Me, look at, me. Look at yeah. you. There's never any us. I just got that. I told you that when we were watching it. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> look at you. And then, look, look at, at me. me. Just as like There's an entire screamo. Us. Can't you see? Oh, we can't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that makes so it. much <laughs> sense. <laughs> Did you not get that? Yeah, no, that's the whole why. The song it is about, about her, her depression. <laughs> It was depression I all it along. Was just, I thought it was just her being a bitch again. It was 
have we learned nothing from Disney Channel? Oh my god. The moral of every Disney Channel original movie. It was depression. It was depression the entire time. But so then Peggy comes on, she sings a great she song. Is, yeah. That's when they start doing the weird thing where it's like, um, this would make sense if it was a TV series. And it's like, oh, here are the episodes you probably forgot about because it's been X amount of episodes. They just do like flashbacks from scenes that were literally like <laughs> 10 minutes ago. <laughs> They do. Like, they do it. Like, here are all these goes... slow motion flashbacks. And then while she's doing that, Tess is, like, making her rounds of, like, just suddenly a changed person. <laughs> the and apology like... tour. She has, like, a mental like, spiral. Like, going from person and to person. And then she, Peggy finishes her amazing song. And then Tess goes on her apology tour of, like, hey. You're actually good at the thing that you went to this camp to do. <laughs> I'm sorry for telling you you're not. Hey, Mitchie, you're actually good at creative things, or else you wouldn't have come to a creative camp. Sorry, sorry. for telling you you're not. <laughs> Drummer guy. <laughs> Drummer guy from the scene where I, I did the weird drum from joke. From a few scenes where you didn't speak. <laughs> you're really good at drumming. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> but so then the end... The end yep. of Final Jam comes, and, and that's when Mitchie and Alice and Stoner are like, ha ha ha, we got your clue. So then Mitchie goes out and she sings her, her... This is me. This is me. And she goes on stage, and she's like, oh wow, there's people. And it's like, what What were you expecting? You expect <laughs> Mitchie. What? You're at all of a, a sudden, like a all of a sudden, game. she has stage fright after going through admitting that she lied mm. she, in front of everything, ev- like a far now, bigger audience. I would like to point out now she has stage fright, so she goes and turns her back to everybody mm-hmm. and sings, "I've always been the girl that hides my face, even though I lied this entire camp and that's to they- get my face shown." She turns around, she has her bent knee action, and then Joe is like, oh my gosh, that's the it's girl her. with the voice, it's the, that's her, it's the, oh, it's, it's, gee, it's the girl, let me just forget that I yelled at her in front of everybody and caused her severe mental and emotional pain, and we're gonna sing together and fall in love. And hopefully she forgot about it too. Hey. <laughs> and then so he joins then they, in. Like he just he sings, knows he her, sings his her. own song. Yeah. He sings his own song. And so it's a mesh of two songs because what's better It's called than organic. That? It's nothing more organic than that. Oh. And that's it. That's the end of like the final that's jam. That's the end. That's it. Tess says that's the end. And then Peggy wins, which I think is awesome. I love that. Yeah. I feel like it wasn't stable as it could have been the storyline of her oh. like rising up against Tess Cause but I like, always loved uh, that she won it wasn't like oh even though they weren't in the final jam Mitchie wins or like anything of that it was yeah. like this girl that actually deserves to be win because she was treated like shit this entire fucking time she won Yeah. and then Tess is like you deserve to win Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and then, like, that's... Everyone sings We Rock. And then everyone sings all the promos. We... Yep. And then that's it. That's the film. So what we've learned here is that Mitchie was a pathological liar who and cares more about status than respecting her own mother. And Joe Jonas is... A, the baddiest of bad boys. So he doesn't go to rehearsal and he instead canoes with the life preservers. It's about on. as bad as you can get. So that's as bad and as I'm you pretty can get. Sure and makes birdhouses. Pretty sure Kevin never got his birdhouse. No, no, no. I think he's going to lock up uh, Joe Jonas in a house. Yeah. And, like, would you like to play a game that involves a birdhouse? Would you like to play a game? Would you like to play a game? Would you like to build this birdhouse or die? <laughs> Your limb shall be the new birdhouse for Kevin. Anyways, Camp Rock. Camp Rock. Doesn't it rock? It's so <laughs> rockable.